So what would you say are some of these uh, fields of deception or, or these particularly furrow areas that the devil can manipulate um, and deceive us into, into some of these things and, and so forth? Well, one can be a sense of identity, who we really are. And when we start to see ourselves as, um, well, if, if we're the leader of a church or the leader of an organization and we don't separate who we are personally from that organization or that church mm. and it's just kind of all becomes intermingled and it's like, um, you know, so when people meet you, they think about, mm -hmm. well, Anabaptist perspectives and, and if, if that becomes your identity, then you're vulnerable because mm -hmm. you can be thinking, well, I'm this person that, you know, does this and, and, mm -hmm. and you separate who you are personally from, it becomes morphed into the organization and, and I think that creates a, a vulnerability. Uh, and then also just loneliness and when we're cut off from people and we don't have meaningful relationships. And again, the pull of uh, the, the desire, of, the sexual desire is related to the desire for intimacy, to be in meaningful relationship. And, and so when we don't have those, then I think we're, we're vulnerable to kind of the false satisfaction of, of desire. And, and, and really pornography is just a fake uh, intimacy and it's it's not a true intimacy but it it's sort of does something to to at least uh, sate that des desire for intimacy and mm -hmm. so it's um, so loneliness is is one of the issues and one of the things that happened with my dad was he got he got into a situation where he didn't have a lot of meaningful relationships mm -hmm. which opened the door for for him to to um um do what he did and and, mm -hmm. and get get way off track um so that was one of the the issues and then sometimes um like if we feel like well i'm on the cutting edge like i'm doing i'm doing really uh brave things and mm -hmm. i'm out there i yeah i do things that other people can't do I, I do things that not everybody does, but I'm an adventurous person, or I'm uh, I'm innovative, or I'm an entrepreneur, and and I do these things that mm -hmm. that other people don't do. But there there's boundaries to being on the cutting edge, and there's some cutting edges we shouldn't cross. Uh, there's some mm -hmm. things that that we shouldn't do, and so just because we're adventurous people or we're entrepreneurs, but there's also the commitments we have to to Christ and to our families yeah. and and so that can create a vulnerability if if we just see ourselves as um yeah I, I do things that not everybody can not everybody does and and I'm mm -hmm. I'm kind of uh I'm kind of of a unique person uh, and then we can give ourselves permissions to do things that that we would say, well, no, other people shouldn't do that. Uh, this sense of exceptionalism. Yeah. I'm, I'm exceptional or, or I, I can in, handle it. You know? In the literal sense of I am an exception to whatever boundaries or rules, you know what I'm, right. what I mean there. Exactly. Uh, which sitting here in, in a studio talking about it, it seems like, oh, that, that's silly. You know, how would ever, anybody ever think that about themselves? And then when you're actually in this situation, suddenly I find myself at least often thinking, Oh yeah, yeah, I can. This is fine. This is okay. And um, about whatever, you know, minor thing or, or oh, I'm an exception because blah 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 of my position. It's just really, really easy to do that. Yeah. You know. And another one can be um, like if you're the founder of an organization, or if mm -hmm. you're the the um, the lead person in a church. Um, you can feel like I put, I have put in so much mm -hmm. energy. I have sacrificed so much and I just deserve some compensation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, I, I, yes. I think of this in, I, I do a lot of trainings for different ministries and things um, as well. And it's, it's so easy to do that. We're teaching, you know, teamwork and leadership. And it's so easy when you're the leader of, say, a team. Okay, the team is doing this thing and you put all this work into it. Okay, now I don't, they, they, I don't have to actually be fully involved because I've already done my bit and 
I could be an exception to whatever the thing may be. Yeah. And that, that attitude, wow, that can really lead places that's not good, yeah. you know.